Here are two items I never used in The Sims 4 before. So this nightstand is from Parenthood and it has a bunch of plain swatches but the last swatch is very out there like it's just very hard to use. And then we have this bush from the backyard stuff pack. So the first couple of swatches are very normal I guess. They have like green leaves, beautiful colorful flowers, but then you get to like the crazy swatches which is a lot to handle. So I thought we could be inspired by these two items to build a house. So we're just gonna build a very small cottage and it's very simple. It's two bedrooms, one bathroom. I think it's a pretty good shape. Um, and it, it is very small on the inside, but I kind of like that about it. And I don't know, but I don't know. I don't really make like separate floor plans. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I usually make everything like open space. So like the kitchen and the living room is open. I always built like that. It's just always open. I feel like it's easier. Um, but yeah, I don't really do builds where the living room and the kitchen is like enclosed rooms, I guess, separate rooms. Um, but yeah, I used a blue Ruth, which I also never used before. So I was like, oh, we can use this. I never used this also. So that was fine. And now we're just picking out like one of the exterior wallpapers. And hopefully, I think this house is pretty cute, honestly, for what it is. Like you might not usually have your Sims live here. But in The Sims 4, it's just, it's fun to live in a house that's this colorful. And yeah, it's different. I don't know how I feel about the landscaping. Again, it's just so weird. Like that bush is just a crazy color. And actually, I looked at the swatches and it has a swatch where like the leaves are green, but the flowers are like blue and yellow. And I was thinking like, oh, that's kind of perfect for The Sims in Bloom Challenge because I don't know what, I think it's called the Forget Me Not, Forget Me Not generation and the colors are like blue and yellow. So like that's a very, that's a very good bush, I guess, for that, um, um, I guess generation just because of the colors, but I don't know if I could bring myself to use it because like, again, it's weird, but I would like to use it again just for the heck of it because I would actually live in the house. But yeah, unfortunately, this is not a list build. I'm so sorry. Um, if you don't know, I'm in school. I shouldn't mention that in every speed build or voiceover I do, but yeah, like this was very simple and small. So it definitely could have been like a um, a let's build. I was going to say a speed build. Um, that's what it already is. But yeah, I will say like, I don't know. It's just like, I like this past weekend, I guess, like I've been like really thinking like, um, do I really want to major in information technology? Like, why did I choose that? I'm like rethinking what I chose. And it's just like, do I do I really want to switch my major? Like, obviously, yes, if it's actually something I don't really want to do anymore. But at the same time, it's just like, I change. Okay, like, this is my second choice. Like, information technology was my second, I guess, choice. Because first, I was going to do, like, childhood development, and then I changed it to information technology. So if I changed it again, it would only be for a third time, which isn't all that bad, to be honest. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't know. It's just because like, if you were to bring this up, at least for me to bring it up to my mother, like no offense, mother, I know she's not watching this, so it doesn't matter, but it would just be like, pick something and stick to it basically. You have to make up your mind. And the thing is, like, I feel like some parents, especially if you're, like, the first one going to college, they're pretty much eager for you to go right away after high school instead of, I don't know, having, like, a leap year maybe until you figure out what you actually want to do. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I could have definitely used a leap year, but at the same time, it's just I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what my purpose is in life. But now I'm starting to think, is like information technology really my goal here? I'm not really sure if I'm made for it. I wish there was just a question I could just put out into the universe and I will get an answer back because honestly, I don't know. Like, I mean, I guess I could go through with it, but... I just, I don't know. Anyways, who knows? 
Anyways, I don't know. We're working in the bedrooms first because, well, no, we're working on the teenager's bedroom first because I was very much inspired to do this one first just to use like the little nightstand. It's very small in their bedroom, unfortunately, so they don't have that many activities. I did give them like a penguin TV, a mirror, a desk and some polaroid photos i was thinking about using the ones from love struck but i was like maybe that's terrible maybe that's like a bad idea um i will say in middle school i did have a crush on three people which are no oh my gosh it was four okay look it was middle school okay you're allowed to have crushes it's just like I, it's not like i ever made a move on any of them because I'm too shy to do that. Um, but yeah, I had a crush on four people. So I was thinking in my head, like maybe these are her crushes and when she doesn't have a crush on them anymore, she could just X them out. But I was like, maybe there's like too many people on the Polaroid for me to think that. Like maybe that's just too much. And then I gave her a beanbag chair because I thought that would be fun for her to at least sit up somewhere besides her desk and her bed. So I'm just rearranging like the photos and everything. I got some LED thingies on the wall and I think I'm just putting some books on the nightstand, a candle, and I think I get some dirty mugs as well. So I was like, I don't know, this fits. This seems right. And then I gave her a calendar and a laptop from Strangerville. That one is a thousand simoleons. It's still a lot of money, but I like it because the other laptops, I believe, are like maybe 4,000. So yeah, that's like way too much. And then I went back to the outside to change the door because I was like, oh, well, if the living room is going to go here, I'm going to need more space to put like the TV. And yeah, pretty much interesting i don't know i tried to keep like the color schemes going around the house so i stuck it with the living room the kitchen and everything i tried my best hopefully it's good i don't really expect anyone to download this just because of like the insane color scheme and they do have a nice backyard area as well I think I gave them a grill, some planter boxes, and a patio table, so it's pretty simple, but it's pretty nice. I used, like, the picket fence, and then, like, when I looked at the colors of the picket fence, I was like, oh, I never used any of these other colors, which I feel like it would be hard to use the other colors just because, you know, your classic picket fence is white. It's not really yellow or blue or purple etc but I don't know it could be nice to use it at least um and then I really wish we actually had a new coat rack just because the one from base game is just not my style I don't know about it it's just I use it so much and I think it looks bad like I looked at it so much that now I think it looks a little bit horrible but now we're working on the kitchen this is pretty simple I decided to do like a light blue color and I also get like a very small dining table I only fit two chairs of course because more than that it's a little too crowded and cramped um even with the two chairs it's like a little bit cramped and tight I guess but I only have one counter that I can like clutter up so I put some flowers I put some utensils and yeah paper towels because that's kind of a staple I always put the paper towels that's very much necessary and then I thought like it was really dark underneath the counters so I was gonna try to use like the LED lights but I just didn't like it that much so I guess it just stays pretty dark down there unfortunately and can I just say something I've been really unmotivated uninspired to decorate bathrooms because I find them so boring like in my head I'm like I don't want to do this I don't want to do the bathroom should I cut it out but this video is 17 minutes long so it's not long it's not really that long of a video so like I have no reason to cut out the bathroom and I didn't but I was like I don't know I'm just tired of decorating bathrooms they're boring to me. Like, they're just the bathroom. There's nothing special to them. Um, I guess maybe if I was making a bigger bathroom, which is very unusual. My bathrooms are usually a three by two bathroom, like six tiles only. So yeah, you can only fit so much in that space. And after we do the dining room, we probably will move on to the parents' bedroom. 
Um, yeah, and I, I wanted to get, like, a hanging plant above the table, but we have a plant right next to the TV, so I felt like that was a little too much. So I decided to just get a light, I believe, from Dream Home Decorator, and then in the hallway, I put, like, a thermostat, I put a fire alarm, and that's pretty much it, because that's, we don't have that much space in the hallway to fit stuff, but I guess I decided I needed to clutter up the living room a little bit more. So we have music, we have a tissue box. I got the little thingy you can put your mail in. That's pretty nice. And I was deciding to put like a rug, but I don't know, it just looked weird. It didn't fit right. So I decided not to do that. I got like a little calendar and yeah, um, just rearranging the posters in there. I thought we needed an accent wall, so I decided to bring the stone in. And yeah, we're working on the parents' room. Pretty simple, pretty boring. And I just want to say, like, the work that I just did for school, like, oh my gosh, it's not that bad, but like, there's a practice part which is optional, but there's also like an exam part which. It just takes so long. Like the practice is, it's not really, I guess it is a practice. So like there's 55 tasks for me to do. And it's like, oh my gosh, it took me like an hour and 10 minutes almost, I guess, or maybe close to that to get it done. So basically it's like a word tutorial. So how to use word. And obviously I want to do the practice. So like I do it right for the exam instead of having to retake it. But oh my goodness, it took me an hour to do like the practice. So like how long is it going to take for me to do the exam? Like that's just crazy. But I don't know. It's just like it's due Tuesday, which is the day I'm doing this voiceover. And it's like, why can't you be like every other class? Why can't it be due on Sunday at 11.59 p.m.? Like why are you due? Their due dates for this class is Tuesday and Thursday. And it's like, why? Why? I feel like I know why. It's because like the first week of school, it was like just doing stuff. I don't know, like preparing basically. So you didn't really have to do anything. But like, geez, can you, I just, I don't know. I prefer it to be do all at the end of the week. Um, just because like, I, I don't really want to do the exam because I just did the practice. Should I have done the practice yesterday? Yes. But I also feel like if I do the practice right before I do the exam, then I'll remember. And the thing is, is like, again, I'm pretty sure I said this before in a voiceover, but there's ways to do it differently in Word, but they want you to do it the exact way they showed you. So that's kind of annoying. But yeah, it's just if I sleep on it, I will forget. So I just prefer to do the practice and the exam on the same day. That's all. And yeah, I'm just getting like a mat and I think we should be working on the outside now. So that is pretty good. We're just going to start with some landscaping. I got some low line bushes or flowers, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I just, I felt like, I don't know. The bushes are weird. Like why are the leaves pink? I just think that's weird. I don't know. Um, anyways, I got a bush, I got some blue flowers, and I just pretty much mixed in these different type of flowers. I don't really know. The ones I'm using right now are from the Romantic Garden Pack. They're very pretty. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the landscaping. It's not my favorite. I was thinking about doing a more, I guess you could say organized landscaping, but then I was like, um, I don't think that fits with the bushes. Like, I feel like that's weird. Um, I should probably do it a little bit more messier. And then I was thinking about doing like those, um, what do you call those? Um, I don't know, but I wanted to bring out some yellow. So I was kind of deciding to put those, what do you call them? Shutters. Yes. But then I was like, um, it's a little too rustic. Just a little too rustic. I wish they would give us more um, because that would be really nice. Just a plain, normal, basic shutter that isn't rustic and everything would be good. But now we're working on the backyard. I was kind of thinking to myself, like, do I want to do a backyard? Do I really? And I was like, yeah, I probably should. It would probably be nice to do that. And yeah, I'm just finishing up the landscaping um, everything is pretty nice. Um, I don't know. The backyard is the backyard. Also, I do want to say I saved the trees for last. 
I always catch myself being like, oh, I'm done with the build and be like, oh, there's no trees. I have to get trees. I always feel like I forget them or I just save them until the end. I don't know, but I was like, yeah, this build is missing something. I did a build before and when I was like, I, I think when I was editing it, I realized like, oh, there's no trees or no. I feel like when I was doing the tour is when I was like, oh, we don't have any trees on this lot. That was just embarrassing. Like, how do you miss that? Um. Anyways, I'm just going to get like the table from the backyard stuff pack and the matching chairs. I think that is very beautiful. And I don't know, it's a pretty small backyard. I could have made it a little bit longer, I guess, but I didn't want that. So it's fine, hopefully. And I got a bigger or a wider grill, I guess. I don't know. I just was kind of confused on like where to put it because I thought it should be very close to the dining table, but it doesn't end up happening like that. And yeah, we probably should be getting like some terrain paint. I get a chimney, um, all that simple stuff. And let me know what you think about this build and are there any other objects you would like to see me use that you think are very unusable, I guess. I probably could think of some items that I never used in The Sims 4 still, just because I find them so ugly. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a bed I never used before, so that could be fun. And it could be a less build, maybe. I don't really know, because those take forever to edit. And I'm so indecisive, so I feel like me trying to talk while building is just like a disaster. It doesn't really go that well. But yeah, the video is almost over, so I'm gonna jump into game and give you guys a tour. Okay, so here is our small little cottage. Oh my gosh, my terrain paint deleted, of course. Hopefully I already have this to my gallery. Okay, yes, it's already on my gallery. You can see the terrain paint over there. We are safe, but once you walk in, you just have a very tight living room space. Um, You know, just your music and your tissues in case you're watching a very sad movie. And then over here, we have a small dining table. We have a nice little fireplace in case it's a little cold. And this is our kitchen space, very small. I used these flowers from Lovestruck. And this is the hallway, so we have a thermostat and some photos you can put up. This is the teenager's room. Hopefully I did a good job. Um, I tried to bring out like the yellow and the purple and like a little bit of the blue. I don't know though. Yeah, it's very small for a teenager. It's just a very small room in general, but they have a TV, a dresser, a laptop. And then this is the bathroom, pretty simple. Um, we have a shower and tub combo. They have their towel, pretty nice. And then this is the parents' bedroom. It's pretty simple, again. They just have like a dresser, a mirror, a clock. And then this way you have the gate to go to the backyard area. So I put like three little gardening pots. You have your little outside dining table and then you have two gardening boxes and a grill and a hose. So yeah, that is the full build. Hopefully you like it. Very sorry that you can't see it with terrain paint, but that is fine. So. I called it a small colorful cottage. It's two bedrooms, one bathroom. And yeah, I used a lot of packs. I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna upload it. If you wanna download it, it's on my gallery at Sims Delicious. And I'm gonna end my video right here. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, you are important, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!